The Eternals' reactions are out, and one of the post credit scenes got spoiled. What a Come with me for the best gig news. Hello, hello, nice to see you on this fine Wednesday. On Monday night, the Eternals held their world premiere and reactions flooded the internet immediately, and the general consensus for the Eternals seems to be that Chloe Zhao has crafted an ambitious movie that looks unlike anything else we've ever seen in the MCU, and it also features Marvel's first love scene? Shame! 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 There are also said to be two incredible post credit scenes, one of which got spoiled in high fashion on Twitter. Don't worry, I'm not gonna spoil it for you here now. You're a good person. Former Batwoman star Ruby Rose took to social media this morning and made a number of explosive claims about the CW and Warner Brothers Television over the conditions that led to her exit. Rose, who was injured while filming the series, says she experienced unsafe and hostile working conditions, naming producers, Warner Brothers executives, and co-stars Doug Ray Scott and Cameron Johnson in her story. It's a lot, so I would suggest you go read the post on her social media yourself, but she emphasizes that she, quote, wouldn't return for any amount of money nor if a gun were to my head, nor did I quit, I do not quit, they ruined Kate Kane and they destroyed Batwoman, not me. It's not about money, it's about sending a message. In less awkward news, The Matrix Resurrections is officially rated R for violence and some language. Good job. Yeah. Tom Hardy has once again posted and deleted an image of Venom eating Spider-Man. Not sure why he deleted it now since we know the two are gonna meet in the multiverse. Wow, that was a nice image. Deleted. According to a new report from The Verge, Facebook, <laughs> Facebook is planning to rebrand and change its company name before the end of this month. Let me know in the comments what you think Facebook's new name should be. My pick, to Facebook. Fair. You see, that's actually a very layered joke because it's their second name, but also I use Harvey Dent to reflect how Facebook utilizes echo chambers and personal bias in a way that some. It isn't funny if you explain the joke. Right. For those of you who are understandably upset by Hulu's cancellation of Why the Last Man, a new report from THR suggests the show is looking for a new home and indicates that if the series did find a new home, it could potentially be on HBO Max considering the fact that Why the Last Man comic was initially published under DC Comics' Vertigo imprint. This has not officially happened and Why the Last Man might stay canceled, but the possibility of being saved is there. Finally, when asked by Variety if Kill Bill 3 could be his next movie, Quentin Tarantino said, why not? Tarantino has long claimed that if he does indeed make a third Kill Bill, he wants to cast Uma Thurman's real-life daughter, Maya Hawke, as BB. While no one knows yet what genre Tarantino's final picture will be, there's one thing we can always count on to appear in one of his films. Not mermaids. Oh, feet. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed the show. Now, follow me on Twitter, at Chris Killian, or Instagram, at CK Comedy. Like the video for support, turn on notifications, and hasta la vista, baby.